While we have flying taxis and air ambulances, which aren't technically flying vehicles, we haven't had a true flying car until now. However, this is going to change as we grow closer to ever to making flymobiles a reality. Welcome to our channel Tech Region, and in this video, we'll see a flying car concept that could become the next commercial flying car. Recent advancements in EV and lithium ion battery technology have paved the way for flying automobiles to become a reality. Blackfly, an aviation firm, is developing a flying automobile that could become the first commercial flying car. Flying cars have always been a fantasy, and combining a road vehicle with a flight appears to be the ideal solution to congested roads, saving time for everyone. Since the early 20th century, many prototypes have been created using various flight technologies such as distributed propulsion, while some feature full vertical takeoff and landing. Because we never actually had a proven design or concept, flying automobiles have always been a popular theme in fantasy and science fiction. However, the most recent participant in the competition is a Silicon Valley firm that has been working on Blackfly for 9 years. The firm, Opener Inc., run by Marcus Lang, is one of the many that aspire to improve transportation by allowing people to explore the skies while avoiding heavy traffic. The airline also claims to make personal transportation simple and inexpensive. So, what are the characteristics of this revolutionary flying car? Let's take a closer look. Opening Inc. has made tremendous progress with its electric-powered vertical takeoff and landing aerial vehicle, which it has called a personal flying car because it can carry one person at a time. It can lift individuals up to 6 feet 6 inches tall and weigh more than 100 kilos. This electric aircraft measures 13 feet 7 inches in width and 13 feet 5 inches in length. It weighs approximately 155 kilos, as you can see, it's a light model. Moving on, the Blackfly is propelled by eight propellers linked to two wing-like pylons that serve as the front and rear car axles. Each pylon has four propellers. When the craft takes off vertically, it switches to forward flight, with the wings producing some lift. The vertical fins on the two wingtips aid in steering, but the propellers do the majority of work orienting the boat. The propellers may not appear to be very powerful, yet they can move a lot of air. As the name implies, the vehicle requires minimal energy to take off and land in a 36 inch region on a variety of sources. As the name implies, the vehicle requires minimal energy to take off and land in a 36 inch region on a variety of surfaces including grass, asphalt, snow, and ice. According to the manufacturer, the Blackfly has been tested autonomously and with human pilots on board, with hundreds of test flights conducted. Riders concludes at 128 miles per hour in the flying car even in gusts of 32 km per hour in temperatures of more than 30 degrees Celsius. The current limitations of battery technology are represented at Blackfly's ability to fly 40 km at a speed of 100 km. However, because it's an aircraft, it must utilize a smaller battery to decrease weight. As a result, the battery has a capacity of only 8 to 12 kilowatt hours. The Canadian company aims to make flying cars a reality, and unlike previous attempts, Opener isn't attempting to duplicate a car's capabilities. Despite its limited range and speed, the automobile is entirely electric and capable of moving both on and as air. The flying automobile's concept's most intriguing elements are its easy use and low cost. Learning to fly this automobile will take you just a few minutes, which is a great selling point for this flying car. The cost may be comparable to that of an SUV, although the business does not disclose which brand. Customers will not need a pilot's license, but they will need to finish a familiarization course and a normal written examination for an FAA private pilot license. In addition, there's an autopilot system that may land the vehicle in an emergency or bring you home. The layout is modular, with three backup control systems. The company hasn't said when it will be open for business or how much it will cost. It's still in its early phases, and it will be expected to see some time before we see flying automobiles in our sky. It may take a few more years, but the first commercial flying automobiles are expected later this decade. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. What do you think about Blackfly? Let us know in the comments. Like this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you in the next video.